Welcome back. Satisfactory. So glad you're here. So why are we going for our power tower? Well, looking at our power, currently we are just above. Okay, we've got 13,000 months in. Assuming right around. And I had to do some work to get that last 2,000 of that 13. Went around and got some power shards and overclocked a few fuel generators and things like that. So we're at the point where we're transitioning creation power to new. And as such, I want to make sure that we have enough power just in case, right? Just in case it happens, we'll still be able to have enough power to get to that new. It's gonna start off with some rounded corners here. I'm gonna give my best effort to a little style on this power tech. Put in something, some texture. I do want to stay in the whole concrete look and feel, but of course, pick whatever look and feel you like. Me, I'm staying full concrete for this. building out our corners. Then four, four walls high is basically our midway point. So yeah, we'll go fully this direction. Alright, so we've got some nice rounded corners on. Then we're going to put in some organizational ceiling lights. I've been really enjoying this idea of lighting. If I connect. Well, the clearance of this light is... I think I'm going to turn it to the side. Put these plugs on the side so when it comes time to connect them it has to go slightly less distant all right go up here and or this makes sense too far down the road. 
So that ceiling light's on that corner. That corner. So we'll put this one on this corner. So put in the power while we have room to move. Connect you to that. You on the high side over here. Drop you. Stay down. is or the power for the ceiling lights is done they're on their own circuit now we'll get the power storage uh -oh. have any staters on me i'm building this power tower right around here so i've got a good chunk of materials ready to go I'm just going to build these four straight across. So what is that? One, two, three. Four, five, ten, twenty per level. Yeah, that's a decent amount of power storage. And now we need a place to Trying to think of a place that's obvious. Well, I guess I'll just have to know it when it comes to it. extend our power network for a little bit here. So fly around. With a little more
Oh, these are outside the window. Really are. What's that? Getting close quarters in here. Over here, grab some chili. Start off incorrectly here. One moment. I think if I build it this way. Plug is still. Yep. There's a little bit of a gap. If you wanted to do this less efficiently, but more. I don't know. Face conscience. One power storage fits nicely in the center of one foundation. So you could leave yourself a little bit more room. But we're not here for the eternals of a power tower that we're never going to see. We're here to get as much power packed into the possible. Now that level is connected to this level. This level is connected to this level. Okay.
All right. That is pretty good power tower. Now, question it. I'm to take this center out and put a wall here instead. I don't know why. I think that'll make the, um, the shine of the internal lights a little bit. Can't tell if it's raining in the game or if it's raining in the. Tracks over, so it's a rainy day in the desert. you gotta remember when you're building with blueprints is that the snapping is a lot less aggressive. Which could be a good thing. Gives you a little bit more artistic freedom, but if you're assuming that you're dealing with the same type of snap as you are outside, you're gonna be disappointed. The only other question, and I think I already know the answer, I think I'm just going to leave these open. Anything ever crazy happens, at least you can get in there. Since there's power plugs all over the place, you'll be able to hover nicely. I think that's it. Let's save this. realize how loud the craft was. Tower, tower, a two, a point, oh. 40, 40 power store. Now, I go, one of the good things is, oh, I should change that icon. Oh, you're not allowed to use the uh, Not allowed to use points. Anyway, we got it. But we can use our standard methodology for building. Sort of plan types of resources we need. We did five of the I'm not sure. Ooh. Wow. Fifty thousand wire. I was thinking about doing cooling towers. I don't have anywhere near 40,000 wire lying around.
And I do want to build this right here. Good news. Uh oh, short modular frames 400, short wire 4000. It's going to become a inventory management game. Let's store everything that's not what we need. pick up a chunk of what we want. I need a lot of staters. Uh, I thought I brought some staters over. Some modular frame. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot of everything. I'm only going to be able to put this down one time before I need more stuff. I'm going to build one, then I'm going to go grab some stuff real quick. this all on the side that doesn't have access to the power connection. What? iron plates which are in inventory uh, it's right inside here we'll just try to tuck if it'll let us Double checking, making sure that's the light right there. Let's connect you there. Then we'll change you. Uh, I'm going to go with the purple lights. 
start. Maybe I won't like Powering up and the lights are on. Oh, well, we got that much correct. All right. I didn't realize it was going to be quite. Maybe I shouldn't build so many. We'll have to see. Uh, but I didn't realize there's going to be quite so much stuff. So I'm going to pause for a moment here. Run around and pick up a bunch of stuff. And then be right back. All right, I'll be right back. Hey, we're back. I gathered all the stuff that I think I need. And we went through a day-night cycle, and I didn't really like how this looked at night. I didn't really, uh, not really capturing the sort of the vibe that I was going for. Not fully. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build, I'm going to make some changes to print. It's right behind us, so that'll be easy. And then we'll hook them both up. And push comes to shove, I'll just go in there and make the minor changes that we need in order to keep going. All right, so one thing I noticed is that these ceiling lights aren't really producing. Not really giving me a full fledged lighting effect that I'm looking for. But what am I gonna do? So I'm gonna go to organization. I'll be wall mounted floodlight. And I think right on the brace, we're gonna click. And then if you rotate it, you can face these directions. I'm gonna face it straight down. Right on the brace. Um, Try to increase the intensity of our lighting effect here. And one would hope that would work all the way down, but who knows? We'll find out here after we try it. And Now I have a secondary question is, oh, look at that. These lights all have two connection points on them. Very good, very good. We'll see if that does it. 
just save over the old blueprint. And we'll build this one one more time. Now we need lots and lots of wire and frames. See how many I actually need to build this once. One of these boxes has kind of like the everything box, you know? It's kind of like the odds and ends that it takes to build the... What box has the iron rods in it? There we go. Let's see if we have enough to build it at least once here. We need a little more concrete. Let's put back... We can put back the wands for now. Perfect. One moment. Sorry, I didn't have to cut there. I just was about to sneeze and couldn't reach the mute button in time. All right, let's see here. Let's put on the lighting control. Uh, of course, I need the reinforced plates and the This is what happens when you play test your design. All right, let's see here. <laughs> I probably want it this way, but let's turn it this this way. So that side connects up here. And then this connects to here. Huh, is that all there is to it? Connect this down below. Looks like it's powered up. You'll see it at the very best at night. 
those additional floodlights are helping. Oh yeah, they're definitely casting some light on this side here, which is going to make a cool eternal glow. Yeah, those floodlights are the way to go. I'll manually put the floodlights in on this side. Knowing that now, let's see what is the damage on this. It's going to be a bunch of like going back and grabbing some stuff. Trying to fill the requirement. But we can complete. We pick up steel requirement. We can completely pick up the wire requirement. Let's see. Whatever we can totally have on us for our target build amount definitely makes these kinds of things a lot easier. Let's put back that half stack. Fingers crossed that's enough. Ooh, that's not enough wire or blueprint. We're going to be stuck. Let's put all of the unrelated stuff away. Make room. I think we need these. Oh, I would be wrong. But we only need one stack. Now let's figure out Holy moly, 4,000 wire. It's going to be a, a hot second before I can get these going like that. Back some wire. Concrete. Luckily, concrete has a nice, healthy stack size. Make sure you're in blueprint mode. Try to get that shot again. So now we can definitely pick up all the concrete we need. up some modular frames and then we'll pick up some 
stator stacker too. Maybe we can round out the stator requirements. Just need 4,000 wire. Indeed, I set up to build. One more. I think my to-do list is a feel a little buggy. Wondering if I've got some quartz crystals. On. Let me, because this this deserves a label. I really like the way this came up. And floodlights are going. They're doing a lot of good work on the cool factor. Yeah, let me take a second to grab some stuff, and then we'll finish this up. All right, we're back. Now the question I have left, and I'll probably, you know, reconnect all this stuff from floor to floor off camera. Maybe I'll do one, but I'm pretty sure you know what the deal is. Tower is five. Tower is five. 2.0 is three. That's 13. Two spaces, 15. Oh man. One downside of this, uh, it is hard to see where the individual Ooh, we're right on the edge. We're expending some of our stored power. I've already stopped counting. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ten. Seven. Well, 13, 14, 15, 5 and 5 plus 3 plus a space, two spaces. This might be all we need. Yeah, those floodlights are doing good work. So we've got to set this to a different layout, probably. We just want a big, yes. Want to set that to zero. Copy and move up, paste. Edit point It's funny, I probably uh I probably jostled something like one of the factories that was set to nothing, probably getting used a little bit, like the iron rods or the probably the modular frames factory. 
is uh, making use of some some power. Now I have the joy of trying to spell backwards. Let's see. Probably caps lock that. Probably caps lock that. There we go. Well, that should be a space, actually. Let's paste it with it blank, or copy it with it blank, then it'll be easier to just go up, paste, enter, letter, close, up, paste, enter, letter, close. Letter. Copy paste in is a little funky. Let's see. If I paste this, then close it, close it like that, then come back in, then copy it, I for sure have it. Not a power tower until you label it as such, it must be labeled as a power tower. Maybe when I get to 3.0, we'll do something else, design-wise. So that's about it. That looks really good. Those floodlights are really good. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. I'm gonna go off camera and finish connecting these. It's so much easier to connect these if you put these on the outside, but then it also looks not as good. So it's up to you to make that determination. But for right now, I am gonna say Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.